here we are. We've arrived at the Rocket Milano factory and uh, a little bit dreary, so let's go inside and uh, play a g'day and find the team. Look forward to sharing this with you. To the front. There you go, this looks better. <coughs> yeah, beautiful, this looks better. There we go, come on in. Oh. Lewis, how are you? Nice well, to see you. Yes, likewise. Brian, Lewis. Yeah, Brian. How was the journey? Okay? Yeah, good. Yeah, we, uh, we had an Uber driver that just couldn't find us for ages. Right. And, uh, it's okay. So, sorry. It's okay. Would you like to have a coffee? Yes. Yeah, that'd be yeah, great. Yeah, milky or espresso? I'll do espresso. I'll, I'll have a, um, like a latte. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Flat white or... Flat white, yeah. Yeah, sure. Oh, good, yeah, yeah, we can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah great. You're just going to throw some milk? Yeah, cool. Uh, lots of people, very impressive. I mean, a cool little showroom, but uh, obviously a very big team behind the scenes. You okay if we film? Yes, just, absolutely. Just general, yeah, yeah. you know. Even, just, even, oh, even here, oh. yep. the, in production as well, yep. Carlos also will be guiding you through. Yeah, Carlos, look. Nice to meet you. Yeah, and likewise. Yeah, so he will be kind of guiding, explaining, and then you can do, stop by and shoot the video and so on, so it's absolutely fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, we just keep it real natural, you know. This is, this is what it's all about. Absolutely. Yeah, you yeah. get the heart, heart of the business when it's more natural. It goes, you guys know very well what to do anyways. Yeah. <laughs> So we, we were just under pressure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but uh, yeah, so much to see, so much to understand about the culture of coffee here in Italy as well, how different it is to, to what we do. Different. Completely, yeah. Even, there is, even today, there is the traditional school of coffee in Italy. Yep. So there is a competition that is still doing 7 grams for single, 14 grams yes. for doubles. Wow. The and, Italian traditional academy. And there is oh, still, okay. still yeah. forming like new baristas on the traditional yeah. style. So it's, it's mind blowing, right? It is. You guys are yeah. so in a way advanced. <laughs> so. Yeah. We met up with, um, just come from uh, Lot Zero, or, which was seven, Lot Zero, Lot yes. Zero um, Chiara and their team. Yeah. Um, so she wasn't there, but we, we met her on her stand. So just being able to see what they do and their roastery and, yeah. and the, the, the commonalities of what we do, yeah. they're doing here as well. So They do a great job here in Italy. Yeah, yeah. I and mean, we had great espresso there and a great yeah, filter yeah. and it, it was really good to, to see that there is an emerging it's yes. the chain. Definitely, there is a, I think that's this third wave that's probably landed in Australia 20 years ago. And now, <laughs> now it's arriving in Italy. <laughs> so now it's slowly arriving. Yeah. Uh, so that's definitely. So I think that's. Here easy. is a Colombian coffee. Okay. From Tejete Cafe. Paris. So it's, a, it's a French. A French roast. French. French roast. Yeah, right. Okay. Uh, so Colombia wash it. Ba yeah, so basically, I don't know how that was extracted, but if it's a good job, it's the barista. If it's oh, wow. very good, probably it's the machine. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> a dirty it's machine? Good. It's not very good, probably you know. it's me. Yeah. So. They're very vibrant, good fruits into that. Um, Great with long black. Today yeah. I had one with long black, it was really, really good. Yeah, there's a nice silky texture there to the extraction, which is nice. Yeah. This grinder here is just from my Louis and three colleagues that mix. Oh, okay. Specialty coffee. Okay, great. Everyone else. The other one from a traditional. Traditional. Brand. Yeah. So normally we have one special yet yeah, grinder. Yeah. For for definitely for the for our specialty taste, and then there is everything else for the. Yeah. I mean that sort of beans would be sort of similar to, yeah, very nice, not not too dark and oily that we've been seeing in a lot of poppers. Yes, definitely if you check that grinder, there might be a little bit more of the traditional oily. Oh yeah, 
It is. Yeah, a few little bit of oil spots, and but yes. not as not as bad as what we've seen though. We've seen some very traditional dark roast oily, yes. oily roast for and sure. Definitely, there is even like what I found very interesting is even the overall concept about flavors for the Italians. I mean, people, we don't go to school and people teach us what about the flavor perceptions, right? Mm -hmm. So when they drink the specialty, they tell us the first, like the first reaction is that's bitter. Oh, Instead wow. of acidity, yes. they, they don't say, know how to recognize. They say that's very bitter, mm. and then say, okay, or maybe bitter is what you're used to. So even the concept of getting around is very kind of fascinating. Mm. Uh, we are trying to convert yeah. people here. Last year, I made a job converting people in the, in in the company. company. Yeah. <laughs> yes. we, we have been doing work in converting yeah. them. So it, it is quite a high acidic coffee yeah. in, in comparison. There's no doubt. That's probably the highest I've had uh, for this whole trip. Um, I love this profile of coffee. Uh, that's my daily routine. <laughs> yeah. Carlos is our definitely our mini Australian here in the office. So okay, cool. Everybody will try to move. I can see you're an Aussie all the way. <laughs> I love the Australian culture of coffee. Yeah. You are some years <laughs> in front of everybody. <laughs> yeah. It's great to hear that we have had an impact in the world of coffee, and that's what a lot of we, we keep saying we think we are having an impact, but obviously no, you, we actually you have had an impact. You create the trend, you create all the... Mm. We're trendy kind of people. We're not quite Milan trendy, but you know, we're trendy. <laughs> <laughs> so how big is the team here? Like how many people does Rocket employ? So We're about 100, isn't it? Yes, overall total. In okay. these premises, you're not going to see all of them. Uh, we have about, I would say, 25 people in the office. Yes. And then we have a bunch of people here in the factory. And then very close by, we have another um, factory that we produce the bigger machines, the professional range. So okay. here we do domestic range. Mm -hmm. And then very close by, I would say, mm, three kilometers okay. down the road, we have the professional. Uh, machines. Okay. So then there is more people working from that. Yep. And then they have the engineering R and D. Is they use like an annex, uh, literally in the next door yes. upstairs. There is an annex where is the R and D team. Okay. Normally works from. Um, yeah. So. Okay. And from a production perspective, I can see the production lines going out here. Yes. But are you making and pressing all of your own metals and and molds, doing all of that yourself, or are you outsourcing no, and just assembly here? Local suppliers that we search really close to okay. Milan and this great area. Yeah. And we just assemble it here. Okay, so you do the design work, you send it off, you get that manufactured and assembled here. All the prototypes here. that we create and engineers thinking, yep. they give us this final solution yep. and here we just assemble it. Great. Yeah. Yeah, nice. But 100% Italian machine, 100% mm -hmm. based in here in Lombardia region. Yep. So, yeah, wow. Exactly. Cool. Look at that. So normally... Pretty. <laughs> there you go. Oi, I took a photo. <laughs> I did. Of <laughs> <laughs> me, passing it to me. How's that taste? Yeah, it's very good. Thank you. Like, yeah. yeah, my my pleasure. So yeah, normally we have like very. I mean, overall, our suppliers are very close by. Mm -hmm. And I mean, historical. I mean, since the beginning, they are being our suppliers, and then we do by our own. <laughs> so we develop everything. I mean, the design is in house. This machine, particularly, is the first one we have an external designer who. The, the, the design itself, all the, the drawings and everything was external designer. And then by then we're going to speak to the supplier and then we'll kind of create all the molds and everything. So we have the intellectual property of the, the, the drawings and it will do by our specs. Yeah, okay. I mean, in the coffee business, in the machine business, it's hard because most of them are looks very similar. It's a box with the boiler, so mm -hmm. it's hard to, in a way, yeah. prevent and this people. One. We try to create a exactly. own profile, having exactly. a little bit more of personality, yes. changing the head group, the side panels, yep. and exactly. giving it more yeah. uh, mm. rocket identification. Yep. Yes, a character, because enough of the day they look very chromy and shiny, and yeah. they have an E61 so, group. So yeah. Yes. Yeah. The E61 group is just seen everywhere now. Exactly. And, um, exactly. Yeah, cool. Exactly. So, and then, of course, here is the, what we for maybe easier to understand is the assembling line. Here we're gonna put all the pieces together. Yeah. So, but Carlos will walk through. Yes. And then even in the perfect hands. Right. Any questions or anything? Like
let us know. Yeah, thank you. We catch up at the end okay. for another coffee. Yeah, yeah. let's do. All right, let's not. Okay, please. Wow. So, guys, buongiorno. Here we have our factory regarding the mask machines. Okay. We start the production first with the left side where the, our workers assemble the pumps and the boilers. Mm -hmm. That's our start of the journey here. Yes. After they assemble it, we organize them here, as you can see. Okay. The pumps yep. and the boilers are already ready to start the, the production line. And we also do here separate according to the machine. R58, type V, type R, stone, all the screws, all the, the tubes, all the engineering stuffs, we start separating them here. Yep. And that's the, the, just the beginning of this, this path here. Mm -hmm. And the path we start separating all the technical and engineering stuffs, such as the E621 group, head yep. group that we have here. So side panels, we start from the beginning, E621 group, and they start here putting the feet, all the basic stuffs from the machine. Yep. Then we make a, a, a course that turns left and they start doing more deep technical instruments. Sure. And we do also have, in the end of the line, when we have a machine that has some problems during the tests. Yes. We keep these machines to the left line and there we start doing tests in order to understand why this machine had this problem. Oh, yeah, great. Yes, yes. Mm. So, and we do also have some ladies that here we try to leave some technical and more sensitive details to a women's hand because we do believe they have more accuracy and, and less strength. So more sensitiveness in the, the fingers, in the hand. Attention to detail, yes, yeah. Exactly, okay, right. exactly. Wow. Here we produce, as I said, we are producing nowadays Mozafiato. Yes. There is a big order for Mozafiato this week. Okay. And daily speaking, we are talking about an average of 65 machines. 65 a day, yes. okay. Yeah, yes. wow. Every day, every day. Ooh. And Rocket was born in 2007. It was a uh, rebranding that Daniela Berenbruch, our actual CEO, made with a former partner mm -hmm. called Andrew Mio, that okay. was a pro cyclist. And they bought ECM, not the nowadays very well known ECM, but another one. Yes. And the company had some problems regarding finances and they bought it and rebrand as Rocket. Okay. And why the name of Rocket? So our most iconic and famous machine is Giotto. Yes. And so if you take a look at Giotto's panels in the side, you're gonna see a rocket former. Oh yes, the sides. Yes. Okay, yes. yep, yep. Yes. All right. Yes. So that's the the, the, the the point for us, our target, giving us this identity mm -hmm. for this machine and making this, the, this, this merge with the, our brand, our name, Rocket. Okay, so that's yeah. why you might have a, um, an apartmento, which yeah. is a straight panel, exactly. but as you go up, you can change between a, um, a, rock, a, a Giotto yes. or a Mozafiato, or, yes. or the differences. Yes. Okay. Well, Technically cool. speaking, Mozafiato and Giotto are almost the same. Yeah. The difference are the side panels, but you can have both of them in R version with rotatory pump or in V version with the vibratory pump. Yep. But they are basically the same machine. The main difference is are, are the side panels. Yeah, keeping the heritage there and exactly. that's fantastic. Yeah. Yes, exactly. It's one thing we keep finding is the heritage that the Italians stick to. They're yeah. so proud of it yeah. and it's, uh, it's great to see. For us here in Italy, not only the quality but also the design are very important for us. So we keep trying oh, these the are stones, yeah. designing the machines timeless mm -hmm. in order to have the quality and beauty at the same time with a beautiful design that takes 
years to be until now, 15, 20 years, a good looking machine. Yeah. This is all the Stone range here as well. Here, so Stone, yes. It's exactly. another brand that you manufacture, yes. yeah. Stone is a rebranding also that we made inside Rocket. Okay. In order to target another market. It's a very simple machine, but it's a very interesting machine with technical solutions, very interesting, because we do have a single boiler machine, but also we have a heating element in the head group. Okay. So, which means with stone, you are able to brew coffee just after six or seven minutes after starting on the machine. Yeah, right. So, it's a very simple machine, but very powerful also. Wow, yeah. okay, yeah. yeah. Cool, very compact. Very compact. Mm. The steam wind is pretty strength. It's a very, very interesting domestic solution. And this week I heard about a client of us that are making since one year ago, yeah. around 50 or 60 coffee daily. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's okay. a lot of coffee. That is a lot of coffee for yeah. a, a small compact machine. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Um, okay. And how many machines per, over the whole year does, does Rocket, let's say Rocket, not Stone, do, do is sold? What, what sort of volume? Ah, it's an average number around 20, 100,000 machines. Uh, 100,000 machines? Yes. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah wow. Yeah. That's a Nowadays lot of we are also developing professional lines that mm -hmm. are in the other factory, yep. here just for domestic range. And in the other factory that is three kilometers close here, we produce all the professional lines okay. and also Air 91, oh, yes. our top domestic level. Yes. And the new apartamento TCA. Okay. Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. We can take a look here if there are some hydraulic tests here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. hydraulics, yes. yeah, water, and okay. Yes, yes. Well, very well organized. Yeah. Yeah, it's very neat, clean. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to see. Exactly. Yeah. The water tank, we keep the tests here. Mm -hmm. Trying to understand if the machine ha has some hydraulic problems, electronic, and. and trying to manage and fix possible problems. And after everything's okay here, they just go to the line and finish the, the assemble of the machine. Yeah, wow. Yeah. And in the, the back on the left, we have our stock. Okay. Stock of the machines, machines ready to be shipped and also spare parts, accessories. Mm -hmm. all the stuffs to support our clients. Okay. And as I said before, our suppliers are always close to this region, Lombardia. Yes. In order to have more facility, to have access to the suppliers and to the parts. Mm -hmm. And you would have seen a big, big demand around uh, COVID time with the home market growing? Yeah, during COVID, it was the top of our production for domestic yep. line, 2021, 2022 also. Mm -hmm. They were both great years for us regarding domestic machines. Yep. And it was insane how we keep the production daily, after daily, in a increased movement. Yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's very good. Yeah. Um, so this is all the boilers and pre assemblies oh, okay. exactly. Yeah, wow. Everything is very well separated. We believe that we can keep more the, the standard and the quality when we have some dedicated workers for some strategical parts of the machines. Yeah. Do you find like these guys, one day they're doing boilers and then the next day they're on the production no, no. line? They are just specialized here. Okay. Yes. Boilers, right. pumpers and crews that goes inside the pump, or crews yep. that goes inside the boilers. They are very, very well dedicated here. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, putting the inside panels into yeah. the uh, pup, um, pup mento, yeah. Yes, yes. So it's a very delicate work, so because of this that we search for a lady doing this kind of job and have more Accuracy and less strength. Are you saying men are too rough? Men are too rough and 
Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we are good for more strength works, not so delicate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So good to see. I can show you here the machines that are ready to be shipped. All the pallets here. We organize them here. And outside there is a container that we put all the machines every day that are already ready to be shipped. Mm -hmm. And we, we send them to our stock. And is it the same production line for the grinders? No, no. The grinders are a private label oh, that okay. MacCap does for us. Oh, right. Giannino and Faustino, our domestic ones, are made by MacCap. Oh, okay. Yes. So yes. They, you, yeah, you just store them and ship them out? Exactly. Oh, okay. They do according to our design, our style, our engineering thinking, mm -hmm. but it's not built by us, not made by us. Okay, yes. all right. That's yeah. good to know. Yeah, MacCap, it's very dedicated to grinders, so it's part of our group, I would say. Yes. And for us, it makes more sense. Yeah, yeah. no, for yeah. sure. Uh, um, uh, artificial intelligence should keep everything organized in this smart, smart stock holes. Oh, in this section here? Yeah. All the little parts? Yeah. All yeah. oh, right. Yeah. Accessories, oh, okay. little parts, pumps, everything. All oh, right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's completely cool. automatized. Okay, I think I've seen that in the pharmacies um, where they have all the uh, uh, medication at yeah. the back and they just punch in a code, the robot goes, grabs exactly. it, brings it down. Oh, okay. That's the idea, to help a little bit in the daily work routine. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. very cool. Yeah, it's yeah. very so sophisticated, this mm. stuff here. Did you catch that? Yeah. A robot system robot. has all the small little yeah. parts. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Very smart. Yeah. And upstairs we have a kind of lab that our main engineer, historical engineer, yes. uses as his office to make tests, search for solutions, and try to understand problems we've got in the machines. Mm -hmm. And a lot of stuff are built here. His name is Ennio Berti. He's very well known okay. in coffee industry. And here is his lab. Ah. Yeah, many, many tests and solutions he thinks and he creates here. Okay. Yeah. That's good. He tries to break things. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> As part of his lab here. Yep. Trying to understand how to create the, the tubes and the crews according to the, the parameters that we need for the machines. Mm -hmm. All the prototypes we built here and after, okay, we have a good product, a good uh, solution, we send to the suppliers to build them according to our stands and our necessities. Okay, yes. very cool. Yes. So the heart, the heart comes from yeah, the manual yeah. understanding Completely. and building, yeah. 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 We are very proud of this handmade of our brand. We are very well known according to being a handmade machine. So mm. it's a very important thing for us. Beautiful. Yeah. And here we have a kind of little showroom that we are trying to improve step by step with our Domestic, but also professional range machines. Okay. Here we have a Doppia in three groups. Yes. It's a dual boiler machine. So it's a very interesting machine for baristas and coffee shops, specialty coffee shops. Mm -hmm. R58 and Moza Fiato. Yep. The Stone Black. And here we have Sotobanco. Is this a new, new product? I haven't seen this version. No, of no. This machine was first apparition was four years ago, mm -hmm. and last year during walk there was a machine on our booth, and it's a machine that we are trying to improve, constantly improve the solutions. Yes, and understand because it's very challenging this kind of technology of this machine because everything is just above the balcony. Yeah, <clears throat> you need a lot of space underneath, yeah. <coughs> which is always a challenge. Yeah, 
it's insane how this machine has some specific questions. <laughs> yeah. And especially because here we have the main boiler above, but also here we have in each head group we have its own boiler. Okay. So we are talking about three boilers, so a multi boiler machine, and so it's very challenging. Yeah. The installation, the process of building this machine to assemble it. It's our top level professional machine that yeah. we do believe a lot in terms of quality, consistency, and it's for us a, 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 an achievement to follow. Okay, beautiful. <laughs> yeah. And here we have Boxer Evo. Yes. Evo comes from Evolution. Yes. It's an evolution from boxer because from factory we have the stainless steel bottoms and shot timer. Because many clients used to ask us, ah, I like boxer, but we have some problems regarding the rubber buttons. Yep. And okay, many, many complaints about it and decide to make this evolution of our, it's the most sold, most sold professional machine yeah so the buttons wear out because the baristas have coffee or chocolate or milk on their hands exactly and uh, we forget that that milk is, is actually can, can have an, uh, a breaking down of other elements exactly uh, and it eats things away yeah yeah it's we, full of fat so yeah we find we end up they, they get sticky and they don't work so you exactly. have to we put window cleaner and spray exactly. window cleaner in and exactly it, and it works again yeah exactly Oh, that's good. So it's Boxer Evolution. It's a new machine that we started to produce this year. Okay. And the market is observing it very well. Mm, I think we might have um, one of those that we're just trialing at the moment. It's, it's a Boxer. I don't know the, the model, but yeah. Yeah. Great. It's beautiful and it has its own style. Ooh. Here I think it's a Air 91 <laughs> that guys are trying to <laughs> make some tests and build and rebuild the machine. Yeah. We do everything here. Yeah. Engineers here are in, in, a, in a kind of playground to, to play and to test everything. I did a review of the R91 oh, recently yeah. and um, yeah, it's, it's a beautiful machine. Yeah. Um, it performs great. It's a very, very consistent machine. I, I like also to play with the pressure profiling. It's very interesting. It's very smart how it, it can read the profile and then save it. And that, that's exactly. great. Yes. Um, I've, I've had a GS3 from Lamarzocco. Yes. The only thing that was a challenge for me is this was the opposite way. Yeah, because the Lamarzocco starts from the right, right and to goes the, left. the left. Yeah. yeah. So I, I had to keep <laughs> yeah. retraining my brain. Yeah. But, I got it. Yeah. 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 No, great. This machine, it's powerful. <laughs> yeah, no, it's very cool. All right. Uh, anything else to cover? Do you think? No. Or? No. From this factory. Yep. Here in Liscate, that's it. That's all we've got here. Yeah, great. The the mask ranges are always been built here. Yep. And that's our our park. Very, yeah, very interesting to see the factories. We've been through quite a few now. Um, yeah. And there's a lot of similarities, but there's also, I think, um, uh, the different aspects where you take pride in, 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 in other areas. They may not have that pride or, or it's, everyone has their little point of difference still, even though yeah. it's a big factory floor. Yeah, um, it's a completely different approach. It's really under our control, under our standards under our... I can see how he's doing the panels up with that curvy drill piece. I don't have one of those. I need to get one because they're, they're a challenge to get yeah, off sometimes. They are really challenging. Yeah. I tried this, I tried doing this at my home because I have a R58. Yep. And it was insanely challenging. It's not that easy. No, yeah. No. I need to get one of those. Yeah. That's um, because they are very precise tools. Yeah. They are almost made by that <laughs> localization there. Um, 
it's, it's difficult if you don't have the perfect tool. See, we have to pull down a machine or work on a rocket now, and then we work on a, um, a Lama Zocco, then we'll work on a, you know, a quick mill, whatever, and all different tools yeah. constantly to, to rebuild and, and, and fix. Where here is very, you know, each station only has the t certain yeah. tools they need. and Exactly. Yep. It's like having different islands completely separated and then they go together, integrated, to build a machine, to, to assemble it. But it's, every, every sector has its own stuff, its own tools. Yep. Yeah. And does one operator sort of work on two machines or three machines at a time? Or like, or is it like one, two, three, four, five, so you're doing then lots of six? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Lots of six, exactly this. Oh. Very cool. Yeah. Sometimes I like to enter in the production line to see they work in trying to understand better, trying to figure out more about the machines because if you are not in the daily routine building an assembly machine, sometimes some, some reference for you get a little bit distant, so you don't understand. So going to the line of production, it helps you to figure out and understand better what you are talking about. Mm. So what's the difference from a rotatory pump to a vibratory pump? Yes. Seeing them, it's much better. Yeah, correct. It's much better than just thinking about it. Yeah, right. It's interesting, other factories have their parts up above them okay. and, and you have them underneath. Yeah. And just a small, small difference. Um, yeah. w what's better, I don't know. But, um, it depends on the flow, I can imagine, of the, the factory and yeah. the demand, the strategy. Yeah. This, this looks neater because everything's underneath. Yeah. Where when they're above, um, yeah, it can look, you can't see the whole thing. We're here, you can see the whole vision very yeah. easily. Yeah. yeah, that's Inno Berti, our main engineer. He's the historical guy. He worked for Gadja, he yeah. used to work for Faema. So he's our iconic engineer. Wow. Yeah. Who's, who's going to replace him? What's the. It's going to be tough, challenging, tough because he, yeah. he's an encyclopedia about coffee machines. He knows a lot, he knows everything. All the technology that market trends to follow, to start, he's already thinking about it, trying to figure out how to reach there. He's a very yep. smart yeah, great. guy. Digital yeah. integration with apps and things, is that something Rocket's going to do? Because yeah. you haven't got an app integrated machine yeah. yet. No, no. Used to have, we had some problems with the, the app, with the, the software. We decided to discontinue that app in order to make another one, but with better assistance, with better custom service, because we were having many, many problems regarding the app. Mm -hmm. So nowadays we don't have any domestic machines that are integrated to the app. We used to have the Air 60V, okay. but even at Air 60V, you can manage the stuffs and the, the things in a display. Yeah. Yeah. But we, we do think that in the near future we are considering a new app more integrated with machines. And it's part of the the path I would say. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can play here. But it has a hydraulic system. So we start brewing the coffee and we need to keep to continue. The, the, pro, the profiling pressure and the extraction. Otherwise, if we leave the lava, it goes to the zero point. Oh, okay, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So you don't do so much physical exercise here, mm -hmm. like the old machine ones. Yeah, okay, so it's just activating the, the gear yeah. pump in a different way from the R91 exactly. platform. Okay. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, right. That's... It's a beautiful machine, these wood tails, 
Okay, so replicating, yeah, the yes. lever pressure and the exactly. reducing. Oh, wow. Exactly. Very it nice. has very, very sophisticated details here in the side panels, yep. in the back panel. It's a very beautiful machine. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it is very nice. Yeah. Kill you here. Maybe I just even need to get the, the radio turn it off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that He's always them. listening to radio. <laughs> Creative minds need, need exactly. music. Exactly. Ah, oh, right, okay. This All the prototypes that yeah. he creates and solutions. Yeah. There is some cool kind of cut through things and things that we use and prototypes and a little bit of everything. So there is actually a E61 with the Prime Fusion. So here it's something that he, we never put in, in kind of in production, but it's the mechanical Prime Fusion of oh, the wow. E61 group. Okay. So yeah. So basically it kind of works as a needle because normally this is when halfway through actually doesn't do the prey fusion because even the valve is kind of, it's blocked. I mean, the water is not actually getting here yep. unless you kind of slightly open a little bit more manually. And then he creates kind of these, but I mean, still never came to the market. Yeah, still something that now it's in here. Yeah, a lot of people do them in the variable the, valve on the top. The flow exactly. He came with the solution doing here on the side. We never saw that come into life. We never saw in the market, but it's in that. That's cool. Yeah. At some point. Twenty thirty. <laughs> <My God. laughs> Why not? Stay tuned. So yeah. there is some cool stuff, cultural and yeah. a little bit of work he does. I mean. It's Small things as, I mean, cut through the valves and how everything kind of works and looks. So. Inside yeah. look that. Yeah. yeah. I, mean. I love I love all these cut out pieces. Yeah, yeah it's, it's it really amazing. allows you to see what's what's going, going on. on. Yeah. There's so much complexity as well in there. A lot of engineering, a lot of Absolutely. knowledge. Absolutely. Cool. Yeah. Um, and he's a... Uh, a little bit traditional and he's still using his dashboard yep. to create and there are some days that he's here very concentrated, very focused. Michelangelo yes. works. Yeah. <laughs> he's still doing a lot of hand, yeah. hand yeah. work so he yeah. does everything by hand. Yeah. And then he takes to the... The yeah. crazy sketches. Exactly. Yeah. And then after he takes to the voice there to kind of put on 3D so yeah. th that sometimes for us take a little bit longer even to develop new things because we do the kind of on the 2D first and then we need to put on the CAD and, and the, the three-dimensional computerized. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Well, yeah. There you go. All right. Well, thank you so much for taking us on a tour. We really appreciate uh, you having us here. Um, it's wonderful to see the, the perfection, the heart, the soul, and, uh, and just what goes into every machine to make that rocket machine, machine so special. So yeah, we're honored to, to be here. Our honor, and it was a really pleasure to meet you here and to share a little bit about our company, our road, our stands that we search for to keep Rocket as a premium quality machine. Oh, certainly. A yeah, from a customer perspective, you know, it's always known as a premium brand, but to look in here and see yeah. how much attention to detail exactly, exactly. Uh, it is, is uh, and the finesse that's put in all the way through is, is exactly. simply amazing. Yeah. So thank you so much. Thank you so to much. To you and all the team here. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Brilliant. Well, there you go. I hope you enjoyed an insight into the Rocket Coffee Machine. Uh, massive company, essentially. I mean, such heritage and such an impact in the world of domestic coffee machines. So um, if you do have any questions about this, please leave a comment down below. I'd love to answer that one for you. If not, we know who to ask to get yeah. the answers and uh, we'll get that one straight back to you. And please do like and subscribe and hit the bell and you'll be notified when we put up our latest video. Uh, at the moment, it's a lot of tours showing heritage and, and, uh, and just how much of an impact um, Italy has had with the coffee machines over the, the centuries. And uh, anyway, love sharing that with you. Thanks very much. We'll catch you next time. Thank Cheers. you. Bye bye.